Welcome everybody. Today we will see what is called the mesh analysis in the basics of electrical engineering. Sometimes calculating the current becomes tedious and we employ various methods. One of them is the mesh analysis and this mesh analysis is based on the Kirchhoff's law. Consider a circuit. Something like this. Just a random draw. Let's put another voltage source. And that makes it. So now let us add resistances. Let's put a 10 volt here and a 50 volt here and some 5 ohms and 2 ohms and 10 ohms. So this is the voltage and these 5 ohms, 2 ohms and 10 ohms are the resistances. So let us now find out how to find the uh, mesh equations for the circuit. Let us assume the direction of current in this manner from both the meshes, from both the loops. So let's call this I1 and let's call this I2. We know that the sum of voltages in a closed loop is zero. So the current flowing is I1 and the current flowing is so the voltage will be in comes to the first loop this is loop 1 and this is loop 2. So now here we get the million dollar question how do we write currents? Here comes the answer. It's 5i1 that's the voltage in this pass this passive element and in this it is plus 2 into because there are two currents flowing in this and they are in the opposite direction we write i1 minus i2 if they were in the same direction this is in this way and if this is also in this way then we write I1 plus I2 but now that they are in the opposite directions we write 2 into I1 minus I2 which gives the voltage in this passive element so we know that according to Kirchhoff's voltage law the sum of voltages in a closed loop is zero which means 5 plus 2 is equal to 5 I1 plus 2 I1 minus I2 is equal to 10. This is for loop 1. For loop 2, let us write down the equations. So this is I2 and this is 10 I2. 10 I2 plus 2 into I2 minus I1 is equal to so what do we see here this current is coming out of the positive so we write is equal to 10 so this one it's just have a convention if you take it coming out from the positive if you're taking plus and then coming into the negative you can take it minus so this will be is equal to minus 50 so we can write it as 10 i2 plus 2 into i2 minus i1 plus 50 is equal to 0 solving this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 So now we can solve these equations 
we can write uh, them as follows. See, we can write uh, good. We can write uh, this five i one thing as five i one plus two i one minus two i two. Let me take another paper. Sorry. So this will be five i one plus two i one minus two i two is equal to ten. That implies seven i one minus two i two is equal to 10. Okay, now we can write the second equation as 10 i2 10 i2 plus 2 i2 minus 2 i1 plus 50 is equal to 0 which means i2 it is minus 2 minus 2 i1 plus 12 i2 plus 50 is equal to 0. Now we can solve equation A and equation B to get the currents. On solving them we get the values of i1 and i2. In this way, the currents in the loops can be found out. Now we get the value of I1 and the value of I2. From these, we can find the voltage in this resistor, or the voltage in this, or the voltage in this. The voltage in this is given by... The current is I1 minus I2 into 2. That is the voltage in this resistor. The voltage in this is 10 I2, the voltage in this is uh, 5 I1. In this way, we can find out the currents or the voltages in some passive elements using mesh analysis. There is a concept of super mesh analysis which I'll be covering in my other videos. Thank you.